How's it going, everybody? Reading Morgan again. Great evil sleeps. Hmm. Great evil sleeps. Uh, which thing are we gonna get into now? Okay. Everybody. Hmm. Why are we focusing on this? So, uh, yeah, like uh, helping blind people cross the street. Uh, is, yeah, what is this? Uh, okay, Josiah School for the Blind. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is just like a street. I also translated that just to, just a to, uh, red light. Uh, but yeah, so, School for the Blind. Uh, okay. See, yeah, he knows Genji. Hmm. When you first started, I thought, here goes Hiroshi-san trying one of his crazy ideas again. Hmm. But if you tried, you'd understand it too. Okay, how fulfilling it is. So there's not a scheme here. Hmm, yeah. He's been chasing money forever, but now he's got trust. Hmm. Okay, so you're just in it for the trust. That's it. Hmm. Can you get in touch with the old man for me? You finally found one? His body is perfect. Are they talking about Mori? Morita? Uh, his circumstances are ideal as well. He has all the makings of someone who will thrive in the underworld. Hmm. Okay, yeah, it's gotta be more each other talking about. Yeah, man, you can rely on. Mind if I try him out myself? Alright. Wanna make sure he's as reliable as you say he is. Alright, next day. Let's see what we're gonna get ourselves into here. Okay, yeah, we don't know what we're doing, just showing up here. They need help. Okay. Nothing complicated. And like, this isn't just a test. This is also something they need to do. Right now, we're holding a man in that room over there. We're still waiting on the orders from above. We'll probably end up keeping him for a few days or so. Hmm. Okay. Is this this is the guy? There's been a person who's on a manhunt and uh, took lives of several women and children. Seven. Not several. Seven women and children. Okay, I got Kenji. So, and the card is victims up while they're still alive. Hmm. Okay, and then we we captured him. W but where is all this going? How are we gonna get money out of this or something? Okay, so we're gonna use him to negotiate with authorities. We're kind of using him as a as a reverse hostage. Like we've got your real bad guy hostage. If you want him to be persecuted, then you all have to do what we want. Okay, yeah, yeah, so they want to get some people out of prison. Okay, it makes sense. And yeah, and a few new laws we don't exactly take to. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta babysit him until everything's worked out. So we need people to watch him. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so you'll be alone in the room with him, but there'll be four or five people outside at all times. Okay. And we'll provide a handgun. Uh, I don't know about that, because then what if he get, grabs a hold of it? Yeah, and we'll switch off every hour. But, uh, hmm, why is this testing his metal? What is the, the twist here? Okay, and Gin's in there right now, so we're going to go relieve him. Okay. And <laughs> yeah, the gun feels like a bit much. It's way too easy. You're sitting way too close. And there's only one bullet left. Jesus. Oh, not left, but you know, there's only one bullet. It's way even worse. Because then if he grabs the gun and gets a shot off, you're fucked. And the room is completely soundproof, but if you just bang on the door, I mean, I guess you're banging on the door. It's not like, you know, it's not like sound that's escaping. Now, slowly turn around to face the man. <laughs> he looks so innocent. Oh, but yeah, definitely the kind of guy I would suspect to be a murderer. This looks so weird. I mean, even if he did manage to kill me, it wouldn't do him any good. There's four or five guys waiting outside. That wouldn't stop me. If I was in his position, I'd do the exact same thing. There's no, like, the only other option is to sit here and wait to be arrested. Like, why would I wait to do that? I, I'm going to try and kill you, and then, you know, uh, who knows? I mean, the, the room's soundproof, so if I manage to kill you, I can probably just... Wait until the next guy comes in, try and strangle him. That's, you know, at least two people down. There's only three people left. And he's a murderer, so 
And it's a gun with no bullets in it. <laughs> so, okay. It's not actually loaded. Much safer. So much safer. So much smarter. Oh, no, it's not a mistake. That is genius. Absolutely genius. Yeah. Just thought there was no point in killing me, but who knows if he sees things the same way. And yeah, you, you have no idea what he's like. Got, you got no idea what's going on behind those eyes. <laughs> the devil smiles. Okay, goddamn. A monster involved in seven murders since the end of last year. Now Morita must stay in a room with this demon named Aiga for an hour by himself. The only thing he carries is an unloaded handgun. <sighs> this is an interesting little test we're doing. I'm not sure what metal this is supposed to test exactly, but... I don't even know if this guy is actually a murderer or we're just being lied to. But uh, this isn't supposed to be a test. This is supposed to be something I need to do as well. Okay, cutting away to a nice restaurant. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, it is a help, you know, to them to get more people. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Would have been better to have a team of, you know, a team of men with guns, but no, it's way too easy for something to go wrong. Okay, and there's Hirose who suggested the unloaded gun. He's the smart one here. If I had a few sleepless days alone with that monster, I think something would definitely go wrong. What do you mean? And yeah, exactly. The second you make a mistake holding a, holding a weapon, the weapon is the other person's. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do that, it's not a very difficult job. Alright, damn, we're really hyping Aiga up like he's, you know, a shonen killer. Like, you know, oh, nothing they can do is going to be able to stop him. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so yeah, they they are all still armed, but he's calling up to say, actually, unarm yourself. Jesus Christ, even Yokokawa is in there with a knife hidden in his jacket right now. You guys are the most amateur of amateurists. Yeah, I do think this guy could just kill you all easily. I take it back. Hmm. How does he know that? That man named Harai and your boss, they left. Hmm. Yeah. How? And then how did you know? Both of them are gone? Yeah, that's all the information he needed. Like, whether it's true or not, like, how he responded. And okay. That means all that's left are the babies, children, infants. Mm hmm. No, you won't. You won't shoot. He knows you won't shoot, and that, uh, you know, the gun's probably not loaded. He probably knows both. It's the hat. Too bad you were wearing a hat, little baby. None of the others have one, so I, it wouldn't help if I had killed them. Oh, okay, so he can sneak. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yep, it ain't loaded. He knows. He knows. This fucking guy. <laughs> yeah, the very second you stood up. Yeah, you wouldn't have stood up if it was loaded. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, can't reach it. He knows. Ah, wait, wh why is he screaming? Wh wait, why did he just go? <laughs> is he just screaming at him to scare him? Uh, and then yeah, now yeah, okay, okay. Now he hits him with it. If he okay, yeah, now he's strangling him. Okay. <laughs> yep. Take the hat. Take the knife. All right. Perfect. Genius. All right. All right. I'm very on board now. Let's go, murderer. <laughs> The world of the pitch black maze. <laughs> Zawa, Zawa, Zawa. Yeah, you got loaded guns. You guys are all fucking dead here. Morita is probably the only one who survives this. And I don't know how he's going to survive this, but I have a feeling he's going to be the only one who survives. Oh, okay. <laughs> they said even blah blah blah, even uh, Yokokawa is in the room with a knife behind his jacket. But actually, all of them were. You're the only one who's loaded. <laughs> oh my god. But okay, so the only one with a gun is going in there. He's gonna get his gun stolen, and this guy's gonna come out and kill all of you. <laughs> yep. Absolute worst possible outcome. I mean, honestly, even if you, you know, was one of the knife guys, like, you with a gun, is not, you're not gonna do anything. Because you're not gonna shoot him. Because that would fuck up your entire plan. That would be absolutely pointless. To shoot him would be the dumbest possible thing. Even more so than, like, you know, maybe you could get away or something. But if you shoot him, the whole plan's done. So, absolutely cannot shoot him. 
And yep, put the body in the bed. Mm hmm. But nope, it ain't him. <laughs> oh my god. He's so good. Right into the neck. Right into the neck. Oof, blood everywhere. And he he he. I wanted one of these. Yeah, now he's got a fucking gun. You gave him a goddamn gun. Yeah, absolute idiot. Absolute idiot. And at the same time, them having a nice dinner here. Okay, Jesus, I'm talking about Morita. He might be in the position to inherit a lot of money from a certain old man, the second in command of a particular country. What the fuck? Hmm. What are you getting at? Okay, so he happened to clear the strictest criteria. Hmm, yeah, the rest is top secret. Okay, okay, so I assume we're talking about the old man that uh, um, Hirose was talking about. Um, but the second in command of a particular country. So the fucking like, vice president of the United States or something? What the hell? Okay, okay, goddamn. And I mean, maybe it's just this country. Maybe it's just, you know, whoever's second in command of the prime minister. I don't know what that's called. Mm-hmm. Now he sneaks out, using the door to keep his face covered. Very smart. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want to kill him right off the bat. He only needs uh, to worry about, like... Yeah, I guess he could just he just skedaddle if he wants to. But, but no, he's not skedaddling, actually. He is checking the bathroom to see if, you know, make sure nobody's here. Yeah, four of them don't have many bullets to spare. Six bullets and a knife. How should I do this? I mean, you just gotta go out, use all six bullets immediately, and then finish off with a knife. Mm-hmm, okay. That was Iga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The washroom, the toilet, and the shower room. He wasn't going in there to use the bathroom. Yep. Everybody get prepared. Okay. Yeah, you went into that room first. You went into that room first. You fucked up. You fucked up. Chose the wrong room to check. Yeah. Now what are you going to do with just some fucking Yakuza blades? I'll let you go. Hmm. Okay. If we fight, all of us might die. I'd like to avoid that. Yeah. He wants you to turn your back. He wants you to turn your back. So, okay. Yeah. yeah get into the packed hallway. Then I'll shoot you there. <laughs> you caught on. <laughs> okay. But yeah, immediately first shot, huge miss. Huge miss. This is nothing to do with being bad at a gun. This is just your... I don't, I don't know what that is. That, I cannot imagine somebody making this shot. <laughs> or, okay, no. He's just... Okay, I see. I see. I see. I see. He is purposely missing to get them to run to the hallway. So that way... Yeah, not going to try your luck. So you're not as stupid as the others. Yep, there we go. Bam, 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 bam. God damn. <laughs> yeah, just give it a way to escape. As long as possibility exists, the rat won't fight. And then, <laughs> yep. <laughs> give it hope, make it lose its will to fight. Morita's the only one left. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the last bullet. Okay. My god. <sighs> But, okay, wait, so, uh, let me go back through, what were all the bullets? So there's one, and then, uh, second one kills this guy, uh, okay, third, fourth, uh, so yeah, he did require two bullets to take down one of them, uh, because then, uh, fifth, yeah, but okay, yeah, so he did take two bullets to take down one of them, still, pretty damn good, pretty damn good. <laughs> Do you remember the name too? Uh, Morita Kun, where are you hiding? Hmm. Wonder where he is hiding. Like, where would I hide in the situation? I would probably go back into the room we were keeping him in. I don't know why, but that would be where I would go. <sighs> yeah, that's true. You could just escape, but he's looking for you. Where are you? Are you hidden in the fucking couch, like Brian Guy? Hmm. Okay. So yeah, you went into this room. I think I would cover myself in blood too. But he's very smart. Nope, that's still him there. 
Hmm, okay. There's gotta be a trap. Gotta be a trap. Morita put his jacket inside. This is my last bullet. Okay, so he just fires it off into it. Okay, yep, yep, the one on the ground. I guess he must have messed up his hair and everything, too. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I hope you have a knife. Nope, just gonna punch him. Just gonna punch him. God, he looks so wild like this. Oh, okay. Got cut across the head. Yeah, you really should have had a knife. Now what do you do? Yeah, put his body in there. Okay. Yeah, very good. I love it. <laughs> him with his hair now looks so interesting. Mm, yeah, he absolutely fumbled it. Absolutely fumbled it. But again, we can't quite kill you either. Can't we just lock him in this room? If we got him in this room, and we just, like, bail out, lock him in there. And there's only one thing a loser like him will think in this situation. Escape. If I use the door to make him believe he has an escape route, he'll definitely run. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what I was going to do, too. He went for it, but... Then he turns back and get you wait wait for you to come after him, kicks you. Alright, smack karate chops your hand. Alright, now we got the knife too. That's yeah, true, everybody's been trying to escape, but can you kill someone who's also trying to fight back? And okay, closes the door. I'm not running away from you. I'll fight. I we can't kill him though, so I do think the best option is just to Try and escape, you know, like do what you just did. It really should have been kick him back, then, you know, run out the door, close the door, lock it. That's really what we should have been doing from the beginning. I don't know why we need someone in here. Oh shit, I gotta download the next volume. Okay, volume three. And looking pretty spiffy with a little bit of a, <laughs> a smudge, a little bit of a you know, bruise or whatever, scrape on his cheek. Uh, but yeah, now we got the opposite with Genji here and there. All right. Let's get into this. Okay. <laughs> I imagine that'll be whatever our next arc is. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> we'll get into that next time, I assume. The killing ritual. Oh, now the phone's ringing. Bring, bring, bring. Sorry. Nobody can answer right now. Mm -hmm. No one's answering. We gotta fucking get there right now. Alright, Morita versus Aiga. <laughs> yeah, why don't we talk this out? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But yeah, true. If it was swords, be different, but with knives, you're both gonna be in range. So, one stabs one, the other one's gonna stab, you know, it's just gonna be mutual destruction, but fuck off. You ain't leaving. Alright, he's sitting there with like the, yeah, that's right, I am trash. So, you're gonna risk your life for trash? But a safe way to disarm at the same time as the enemy? Mm-hmm. First, point the knife at yourself and hold it away from your body, just like this. Free to use our hand to grab the other's hand. Okay, like this. Allows us to secure both weapons. Now we both kneel down. I'll put my weapon on the floor. Keep my hand about 10 centimeters above the knife. Even if I did go for a knife with my left hand, at that moment you'd have to release your right hand to do it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay. Alright, from here we use our feet, step on both of our own weapons, slowly stand up and let go of our hands. Now get the hell out! Mm hmm, let me change first. No. You're letting him change?! I can't believe you let him do that! And then you lock him out! Morita, you fucked up the situation so bad. What do you mean, what should I have done instead? The opposite. Lock him in the room. Wait, 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 okay, he's back. He came back. He came back. He fucking came back. Oh my god. And now, okay, did you get, did he get stabbed? I can't even fucking tell what's going on in this panel. It looks like he got stabbed with one there. And then, get stabbed again in the arm. Damn. Uh, 
Yeah, forget to check the windows. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, he looked in the other ones and he opened a window. Mm hmm. What was it you said? I only kill the weak? That's right. You are a weak. Oh my god, okay. Stabbing him in the legs, stabbing him in the legs. Oh. But yeah, Gin's here to save your fucking life. Yeah, you have absolutely insane luck. Oh, I got all green lights and all of them. Alright. What's Gen gonna do in this situation? What's Gen gonna do in this situation? The view from the animal trail. What? But okay, okay, damn, he just dodged it. He just dodged it. And okay, yeah, like, we're getting into the whole, like, yeah, it seems like Genji's, you know, putting himself into a corner, but he's making it so he can't attack from this direction because the wall's right there. So he has to attack with this one. So it limits, you know, what he has to focus on. There's about eight different ways it could go. It's the only time an attack will connect in a flash. Genji moves to Aiga's side. Okay, grabs it. Alright. Now he goes at him with the other arm. But, uh, hmm. Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay, yeah, so because he's holding, okay, yeah, so he can't rotate to actually do it. But yeah, yeah, so okay, because he's, yeah, he's holding, like, the, the elbow joint as well and the shoulder, so he can't move. Oh, and breaks his arm. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, knocked out his teeth. Yeah, he lost a hell of a lot of blood. Mm hmm. Yeah, getting on something else as well. It is true, it's crazy. He is like a superhero. He's got so much going for him. But you've also got the insane, the insane look, and he's princess carrying you. Oh my god, Fukumoto, how do you just get gayer and gayer with everything I read? <sighs> okay, let's carry him out. <sighs> and now we get all red lights. And yeah, goddamn, he's extremely collected, got everything together, calls the hospital ahead of time and everything. I can never handle things like this. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, they'll roll over together. God, these two are so gay already. Getting so gay out the bat. And like, his eyes start to go, but he comes back. God, you, you, you're, you're so lucky, Morita. Fucking found by a goddamn superhero. Immediately gay for you right out the gate. Oh no, oh no, go on, you gotta pull through this, you gotta pull through this, I mean, we know he will, we know he will, but god damn, god damn. <sighs> Returning from the scene of carnage. Ooh. But, okay, yeah, 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 can't die now, haven't slept with a hot woman yet. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh, you're gonna be sleeping with a hot old man, dude, <laughs> you, are, you are never gonna be sleeping with a hot woman. <laughs> Alright, one week later. Doing good. <laughs> yeah, they're all, you know, gossiping about him. Oh, no one's come to see him all week. Morita, oh my god, it's Uea. Oh my god. But okay, hey, give us some grapefruits, nice. <laughs> nice. Alright, yeah, what's your new easy way of making money? Wanna join up with me when you get out? <laughs> Alright, you're in land speculation, you know, shit now. <sighs> I think my personal stock just plummeted again. <laughs> Everybody's. <laughs> but you may have saw almost only the beginning. Then other people started coming in. They waited like a week, but. Oh, would you like to join our group? Okay, so everybody was coming in saying, We need you, we need you, we need you. Yeah, wiped out most of our young recruits. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, they were already a small organization. Hmm. 
Yeah, one after another. More suspicious men. One after another after another. <laughs> All my visitors are middle-aged con men. <laughs> no women. Hmm. One night, several days later, an unexpected development occurred. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, okay, the next door is full of fellow patients. Many familiar f uh, faces. Hmm. Okay, so, okay, he, he's the president of a small publishing house. My name is Anzai. Okay, well, they're working for me. Hmm. Okay, so he's trying to be like, they're all evil, you should work for me. Hmm. Who the hell are you people? Hmm. Hmm, there's a kind of richness to being a villain. Having a close shave here and there is part of that. Compared to that, the way you guys live is weak. It's hollow. Hmm. Getting any action? Mm hmm. You see, yeah, women notice that sort of thing. Dude, you're only having old men visitors. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, pat yourself on the back. You know, we're good people, we're good people, but. I mean, are you even? I highly doubt it. Yeah, I'd rather be a villain. <laughs> He's no good. He won't listen to reason. He's already rotten to the core. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, yeah, absolutely. B yeah, the whole, like, being good thing, again, it's the average person looking for a sure thing. It's the exact same thing the villains are doing. Everybody's just looking for a sure thing. Oh, this is again. Good and evil, morality, that's the last refuge of the incompetent. It's not even worth your consideration. Okay, he showed up. A good dream comes to an end? Hmm? Oh, no. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Is it because he was so, like, he saw what happened... And now he's worried. And yeah, they want your luck. Mm. Hard world for guys without it. Yeah, we saw what everybody else, what happened to everybody else without the luck. Yep, that's the direction we're going. You decided who you want to join. Yep, you're the only one for me, Ginsan. Came to break things off with you. <laughs> like this is 100% a breakup. <laughs> Something I want you to do on your own. If you can make it to a certain point, we'll meet again as partners. Okay. Brought you a parting gift, a fuckload of money. <laughs> yeah, your share from the stock war. Okay. 50 million. And then, uh, okay, one set of trunks is empty and the other one is 500 million. Now let's see if your luck pays off again. Okay, now so you can either get the 50 million in or decide between 500 million and nothing. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, if I choose the 50 million, you'd die laughing at me. But no, it's a sure thing. It's a sure thing. But you don't want the sure thing. <laughs> hmm. Okay, yeah, I don't think you have the skill to choose the 500 million just yet. Hmm. Yeah, where's the skill in just picking one or the other? It's not what it seems on the surface. Okay, there's a way he can be sure to win. I bet this is your plan. Both sets are empty. All right, yeah, I want some proof that the state of both trunks is what you said it was. All right, like, see the inside of the trunk I didn't pick, please. Okay. Hmm? Wait, okay, okay, so, yeah, it's not that he's seeing it yet. It's just that he's, you know, agreeing to it. Uh, hmm, okay, use these in open years afterwards. Okay. Hmm. If that trunk has the money, you lose. It means the one you chose is empty. It's there. You just lost 500 million yen. Hmm. Okay. And it is in there. It's in there. <sighs> Alright. Money slips through the fingers of people who weren't meant to have it. Hmm, I don't know about that, but I mean, in a way, but not everybody. <sighs> yeah, just lost it like that. Like that. Oh? 
They were both. Okay, they both had money. So, yeah, you would win no matter what. Oh, okay, the stacks are fake. Only the first bill is real. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, there's no proof the stacks in the other one were real either. Okay, okay. Damn, that was actually very smart. Very smart, again. Okay, use everything you can to change these fake notes into real ones. Hmm. Okay, we've got to turn this around. Turn this fake Monopoly money around into real money. Use people's weak points if they believe you're stating their greed. Or sating their greed. They'll lower their guard. That's the time to strike. Okay. Okay. Morita is off on his own. He's going to have to figure out a way to flip this money. And it's so weird to say flip this money because it's not money. But uh, I'm very on board for this. Uh, I wonder if we're going to work with somebody we've already known. Like if we're going to team up with uh, the three guys. You know, the three big heads that were working with uh, Genji. Uh, the police officer, the prosecutor, and the journalist. But uh, I don't know. I could see him doing its own thing. I could see him... Uh, like, you know, not teaming up with anybody. Uh, but maybe still getting some help from them. Potentially. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what else I have to say about this one. Uh, like, the Aiga stuff was great, but then I also liked, you know, the, the bit afterwards where we were really focusing on Genji and Morita's relationship, and, like, clearly it shows a hell of a lot how much Morita means to Genji, and, like, man, I can't wait to get more information on what the whole deal with Genji is, and, like, why he is like this, what caused to this, what his relationship to the old man is, who is the old man, what country, all that stuff. Uh, but before that, we got a fun little mini arc we're going to be doing, I'm sure. So I'll uh, see you guys for that. Till then, get the fuck out of here.